In this episode of The Road Chose Me, I'm exploring Southern Mali. Not long after entering the country, I go searching for some remote waterfalls. You can see here I'm driving through tiny little villages way out in the middle of nowhere. I'm still pretty close to the border of Guinea here, down in the south of the country, where for the most part things are stable right now. I'm told if I venture north, the military will actually stop me. It's just completely unsafe right now, especially for a foreigner like me. I find a great place to camp up a dry riverbed and sunset is breathtaking. Local markets feature heavily in my trip. I always need to stop and buy fruit, vegetables, pasta, rice. So here I am walking through a street market in rural Mali. I feel a little conscious with my camera so I'm holding it down kind of low. I'll let you just hear the sounds of the market. You'll see, there aren't too many vegetables at this one, but I did buy some onions and some garlic. This is the main street of the little town, and I gather a market like this forms pretty much every day. I move away from that area of Mali and head a little bit west into a town called Manatali where I meet a really cool guy, Gaspar, who set himself up in the local community and shows me around town a little bit. First stop, the local market. Gaspar wants to buy a gold ring for his mother, so we stop in and watch this local guy make it right before our eyes using gold that's been mined not far away here in Mali. I find my way over to the capital of Bamako and I drive right through the middle of the city on my way to the Sleeping Camel. The Sleeping Camel is a hotel slash campground slash restaurant set up by an Aussie guy and now run by an American as well. These guys have got a pretty sweet setup here and to relax and have some downtime, they've got a boat that they run up and down the Niger River. So of course, I had to get out on that boat for a day trip. We set out upstream and go past all kinds of interesting mansions and government buildings. I really enjoy watching one of the local guys fix the boat. It's leaking in quite a few places, but instead of spending money on glue or some kind of plastic, he just tears off a piece of fabric and jams it into the crack with a knife. On the way, we come across these guys moving their gold mining equipment around. The river actually has a lot of gold in it. The trouble is getting down to the bottom to actually get it. No permits are required, and so there's all kinds of people doing all kinds of things to find it. No, I'm not actually looking for gold myself. It was just hot. We wanted to go for a swim. We're far enough upstream, we figured the river's pretty clean by now. So here it is, swimming in the famous Niger River. Sunset on the way back is absolutely spectacular, which draws to a close my time in Mali. It's been great. One day, I hope I can come back and go further north. <laughs>